right, guys, welcome back to the Passes Alive. Thanks for tuning in and happy Friday to you. No sign of the pesky mailman tonight, but we still managed to get enough packages for Fan Mail Friday, sent in from some awesome subscribers. So we're going to tear those open, and I also picked up two things off eBay that came as well in the mail today. So we're going to check out what's in those as well. So stick around and let's see what we got. Starting right off, I'm going to rip open this one that, that I got off eBay. Looks like it might be a book of some kind. This is something I got off eBay a few days ago. I won the highest bid in the last three seconds. I almost thought that I was going to lose it. But I was the high bidder, and then someone else bid me with like five seconds left. I put another high bid in with three seconds left, and I ended up winning this awesome Great American Wish book from 1989. So we are going to be going back to 89 here real soon in a future video. It seems like you guys enjoy the other Wish Book videos I did. I love looking through these. I love collecting them and having them, going back on old times and checking out the hot toys of each year and whatnot. And I think 89 will be a pretty sick year uh, to look through. So we check out the action figures and everything else in there, and also the baseball cards um, in a future video. So pretty... Next one I'm going to tear open is something else I got off eBay. At least I kind of think so. I got a decent amount of packages throughout the week. Alright, so you can see it already. You can see the beautiful card. And I was just talking about this. On, maybe it was even last Fan Mail Friday. Let me get a zoom out here a little bit so you can see it. But I think I was just talking about this last Fan Mail Friday when I got the uh, the first one I ever had. The Fearsome Flush. And I made a comment in the video about how I can never ever find them unpunched. Well, it turns out that luck was on my side a couple days later and I saw one on eBay that was unpunched. The first time I've ever seen one in, I don't know, six, seven years. The last seven years or so I collected toys. I don't think I've ever seen one that was unpunched. So I had to go for it. It was a buy it now too. I want to say it was uh, like 35 bucks. I couldn't pass on it. The only thing that kind of turned me off a little bit was um, there's, there's some damage to the card uh, art there. A little sticker damage and wear. But pretty cool though, it's a, to it's a Toys R Us sticker from the late 80s. So I was like, I have to get that. Someone's gonna buy it before me, so I better just go for it. The last week I bought same exact uh, toy here, but it was unpunched. So I was like, I need to get the unpunched one. It's so super rare. Um, probably gonna end up selling this pretty much for what I paid for it. I think I paid 37 bucks for this one, free shipping, and this was like 35. So I had to go for it. The card and everything else is like pristine on this one just like it is on the one i originally bought um i'll probably keep the uh, original toys r us sticker on there too but pretty sick i'll throw that in a zolo case and hang up on my rgb wall so that's it for my pickups for the week now let's get into the subscriber fan mail sent in here the first package we're opening is from mr daniel shouts daniel has sent us packages the last two fan mail fridays Sent us some awesome stuff. A lot of stuff last week as well, so I'm curious to see what's gonna be in here. It looks like we have a lot of cards and top loaders again. Daniel sent us a ton of rookie cards last week. A ton of newer rookies. Really awesome rookies, actually. A lot, actually, I don't think I had 99.9% .9 of the rookies he sent. So it looks like he sent us a lot more cards and top loaders here. And it looks like we have some cards from the 90s and a very nice Sportflix Chipper Jones. Uh, 1995 rookie card there and Alex Rodriguez I want to say is his second year card also sport flicks used to love these when I was younger made by Pinnacle really nice I've never even seen these cards before really cool I used to like sport flicks a lot in the late 80s and early 90s they went around for a whole long time and it looks like we have an autograph here and Ian Kroll for the Oakland A's very very nice very nice card there. Thank you so much for that. That's a Bowman uh, Bowman Platinum card there. And a Pedro Martinez second year card. 1992 Upper Deck Star Rookie card. Very, very nice as well. And also a Roberto Alomar a 93 Upper Deck Insert card. Future Heroes. Hall of Famer Roberto Alomar. Also another very nice one. And a numbered card here. A Hunter Green. 172 out of 250. Also another Bowman card here. Um... I'm guessing that's his rookie card as well. So very nice Hunter Green there. Thank you for that, Daniel. And a, a Gilbert Rodriguez. Um, this is 2015 Topps card here. Rookie card. Very nice. Didn't have this one either. So thank you very much for that as well, Daniel. And a Sandy Almar. This is 91 OPG. 1991 OPG card. 
Um, don't see too many of these. Pretty awesome. Picked up a few packs of those recently, too. And another rookie, I think. Uh, yes, this is a Kip Wells rookie card. Did not have this one either. 2,000 tops. Very nice. Thank you for that, too. We have two cards in here. We have Parker Meadows, first Bowman card, and then a Kenny Rogers, uh, 95 of deck card behind it. Didn't have either one of these. Parker Meadows, that's a nice one, too. Um, very nice. Thank you for that, Daniel. And a Brian Lavastida. Didn't have this one either. There's also a first Bowman card here from 2019. Rookie card. Very nice. And next up, we want to fell out of here. Brian Dalamore. Um, Upper Deck Star Rookies. And this is from 2006, I believe. Also another one I didn't have. So thank you for that one. And here's a nice one too. A Dan Ricard. Bowman's Best Card. And this is from uh, 99, I think. Somewhere in around that era, 1999, Bowman's Best rookie card. Didn't have that one either, so thank you for that. And a ton more. Uh, looks like we have an Aaron Judge um, based off of 1989 Bowman for the 30th anniversary. Very, very nice card. Um, I'm not sure if it's a refractor. I can't tell these newer cards what's a refractor and what's not because they're all so shiny and everything else. It was easy, easier to tell back in the 90s, but very nice. Don't have many Aaron Judge cards, so I really like that one. Pretty awesome. And this is a 1994 Leaf Limited, or 95, I believe. Solomon Torres. Very nice. I used to love this set. I actually thought about doing a break on a box of these. I always liked these cards a lot. They're always premium cards back in the mid 90s. And then the next one here Pieces of Greatness. Authentic game worn jersey. This is a bat relic from Hank Blaylock from Topps Heritage. Very, very nice. Don't have too many relics at all. Thank you so much, Daniel. That's very nice of you. Hank Blaylock Bat Relic. And here's an older uh, pinnacle card. BJ Surhoff. He had a long career. And it's um the museum collection as well, I believe. These were called museum collection. Uh, actually, another Starburst. Starburst. I forget. I haven't seen these insert cards in so long. But um, pretty awesome. Haven't seen too many of these in my life. So thank you very much for that as well, Daniel. Here's another rookie card. Steve Delabar. Uh, older Topps rookie from 2012. Another nice one I didn't have for my PC. And another nice Barry Bond Sportflix card. Also a nice one. Hammer Team, 1995. So some 95 Sportflix. Kind of close to the end of my uh, collecting years there when I was younger. So I got out of it like 90, really pretty much the beginning of 97, I think, was when I kind of stopped buying cards overall. So don't know if I really ever remember seeing these um, whenever I was younger. 95, I was 11 years old. I'm still collecting, but uh, not as heavily as I was in the years prior to that. So, Manny Ramirez Hammer Team from 95, too. It's pretty awesome. So, we have a Mitch Keller for the Buckos there. Bowman Chrome, ready for the show. Very, very nice. Now, I have never seen this one before either. And that's also 2019. So, really awesome card there. Thank you, Daniel. And an Ian Anderson Bowman Chrome. I think this is also from 2019, so this is also another very nice one. I have not seen this one before. I'm not sure if that's a rookie card or not, but really, really nice card. And an older Ken Griffey OPG card from 1991 as well. Another nice one there. Love Ken Griffey. And also another Hammer Team from 95, a Ken Griffey Jr. Sport Flicks card. Very nice. And it looks like we have something for Eric here. It says on the back, for Eric. And it's a Daniel Norris rookie card. Very nice. Thank you for that, Daniel. He'll definitely appreciate that. I'll give that to him this weekend when I see him. A, an older Kurt Stillwell card. It's a minor league card. I can't say I've ever seen this one. From 1984. Very cool. Not sure if it's a CMC card. TCMA. Really cool. I think I've seen these a couple times before, but I don't, I don't own any of these minor league cards from uh, the mid-80s like this. This is awesome. Thank you for that, too. And a Ryan McMahon. Um, Panini Crusade card. Rookie card, actually. Uh, Daniel sent us a Ahmed Rosario um, Panini Crusade card last week. Rookie card was very, very nice. And some other ones as well. So thank you so much for all those cards, Daniel. That was awesome. You knocked it out of the park once again. I really appreciate your contribution to Primo Friday. Please comment down below. Let me know what you collect. I'd like to get you something out at some point. Um, it's a token of my appreciation for all your generosity. Another awesome start to Fan Mail Friday. A lot of cool stuff already. 
Uh, the next one we have coming up is from Maryland, so not too far away from uh, Eric and I, but it's from a Mike Durr, and he's from Silver Spring, Maryland. I feel like I've been there before. So it looks like we have a bunch of cards in here, too. Didn't see a note in Daniels uh, this time around. I don't know if he sent one. I don't think he sent one last time either. But uh, looks like we have one in Mike's here. Let's check out what he said. Read that first. Dear John Jabs, started following you in your great channel from your brother Eric. So I wanted to send you a couple of random items and some vintage baseball cards your way. Love the channel, love the nostalgia trip with the toys. Best, Mike Durr. Well, thank you so much, Mike. I appreciate that, and I really appreciate your support as well. Glad you enjoy the videos. Let me fix this for you guys. It says, um, this one says open last, so we'll save that for last. I guess we'll tear this one open first. So if we have some, oh, a pack here. Oh, nice. It's a Star Wars pack. Um, not sure where yours is from. Looks like it's somewhat older. 1995. Very, very cool. We're going to open that. I don't want to just save it. What's the fun in that? I used to save packs all the time when I was a kid, and I, I couldn't save them very long. So there's a customizable card game here. Hydroponic Station. These are pretty neat. I've never seen these before, Mike. Huh. Never even heard of this game before. There's the backs of them right there. Really cool. Interesting stuff. Thank you for those, man. Can't say I've ever seen those before. Looks like we have some more cards in here. Um, and some more Star Wars card cards. The droids are reunited here. This is an older one. I would say this is from, yeah, late 70s. Very, very cool. Thank you for that. I don't, I don't think I have any of these. The original set of Star Wars. That's really cool, too. And looks like we have some newer ones as well. These are Top's Finest, I believe. These are very, very shiny and thick, too. Really cool. Never seen these before. Where are these from? Hmm, doesn't say on here. Guessing they're not too old. I'm not sure if these just came out or not. Never seen those. Those are awesome. Thanks, man. Appreciate those as well. Let's check more into those. First time seeing that before. Careful about this one. Uh, looks like something fell out of there. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. When it was a game celebrating 150 years of baseball, I like that. That's sweet. Um, some top loaders, and I uh, use those to. Whoa! What is this? Wow. Fremont Athletic Baseball Team. This is really old. This is awesome, man. I, I can't even guess at what year that might be from. Let me know down below uh, what year this is from. This is really sweet. I, I love old stuff like this. I'll definitely um, hang this up in my office. Really like that a lot. Fremont Athletic ba Baseball. Not sure what year that was taken, but really sweet. Thank you very much for that. And something else here from Mike. more cards it looks like. We have some newer ones here. You did a really good job packaging all this stuff up too, Mike. Really good job. It's a nice David Ortiz. Don't have many of his cards. I'm still trying to track down his 97 Ultra, David Arreyes. Really nice David Ortiz card. Not real familiar with uh, newer cards. Looks like it's a 2017 card, I believe, from Topps. Like that one a lot, with an older design. Um, Twins Terrors. There's a Hall of Famer, Burt Bly, 11 right there. Jago Arizzi. Jorge Polanco. Brian Dozier. I don't have any of these cards, actually. Irvin Santana. Harmon Killebrew. Max Kepler. And Jose Barrios. Barrios. I mean, <laughs> my pronunciation of their players is garbage. But Jose Barrios. These are really nice, man. Thank you. I don't have any of these ones. I guess these are um, Topps Heritage, I think. Or Topps Archives. I'm not sure, but really cool. Those are... 
the first of my uh, personal collection there, so thank you for those, Mike. I appreciate that. Wow. Wow, we have some vintage cards here. Very, very nice. Very nice. 1968 Topps Roger Maris card, and it's in pretty good shape, too. Wow, that is amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That is awesome. 1968 Roger Maris. That is epic, Mike. Thank you. so. I can't thank you enough for that. And here's an old Eddie Matthews card, too. This is 50s. Um... I can't pinpoint exactly what year this is from uh, mid to late 50s Bowman card. Eddie Matthews. Very, very nice for the Milwaukee Braves. Awesome. This is absolutely epic, Mike. You're the man. Really, really appreciate it. I don't have many older cards, and the older cards I do have are mostly common, so these will be amazing, my PC. I'll have to put those on display for real. Thank you very much again, Mike, and you know, let me know in the comments what, what you collect, and I'd like to get you a package out as well. Show my appreciation for you sending those. So, some pretty epic packages here from you guys. You guys are awesome. Still getting over the shock of those vintage cards. Really awesome stuff. The next one we're going to do is from a subscriber by the name of Bipolar Brian, and he's from Georgia. Really cool dude. Talked to him through email and through comments and whatnot few times it looks like we have a ton of cards in here it's like Brian went all out holy crap I opened it upside down I don't want to show his address but we have a 330 count box and it looks like it's the entire complete set of 2008 tops holiday really awesome stuff thank you so much for that Brian I wanted to read the note first but couldn't hold off seeing that here's Brian's note John, hey brother, congrats on all the success you've had with your channel. Keep up the great work. As I said through email, there is the 82 Tops Mattingly error. Also, here's a complete 2008 Tops holiday set. Look inside for more prizes. Hope you enjoy everything here. And as always, send back whatever and no rush. Hope all is well. Till next time, Bald Bipolar Brian. P.S. Sorry about my penmanship. I suffer from shakes and seizures shaking pretty bad when i wrote this well i'm sorry to hear that brian um i wish you all the best with your condition and i really appreciate you sending me fan mail i really appreciate your support of the channel and uh overall kindness this is very excessive brian you sent a ton of cards we're gonna have to go through all these in 2018 tops holiday set which is awesome i don't have any newer sets at all that's that's the first for me, Brian, so thank you for that. Now let's check out all the singles that Brian sent here. There's a lot of stuff to go through. See some Buckos cards in here. A lot of newer stuff. Clemente off the bat there. Newer Tops card. I think that's from um, the early 2000s, I believe, 2002. And an older Honus Wagner 92 scorecard. Used to love this card when I was younger. Used to love that set. Always a really cool card. Never much value to it, but it was Honus Wagner, so I loved it uh, regardless. And a Willie Stargell, Sports Illustrated Fleer card there. A couple more Clementes. Golden Moments from 2002. And a Josh Bell, Don Russ Optic. That's a nice one, too. Another Clemente. And another one. And the 2000 Tops Roto Clemente. That's a nice one, too. Remember, I used to have this card when I was a kid. I'm not sure what ever happened to it, but really cool stuff. Some more Clementes here. Also from 2002. These must have been... Uh, this is definitely an insert set in 2002 Tops. A Clemente insert set. This is after I already stopped collecting. So those are really awesome. Thank you for those, Bipolar Brian. Aramis Ramirez. 2002 Diamond Kings. And another Clemente. And also a newer Don Ross. 2003 Clemente as well. Sorry, I'm going to adjust my camera here so you guys can see these a little better. But really, really awesome uh, Buckos cards right off the bat there from Brian. And here's a couple more. Michael Conforto, a newer Don Ross card for the Yankees there, really nice. And another Honus Wagner card, it's a nice one as well. Um, this is the Top Stadium Club uh, from 2009, I believe, around that era. And a William Johnson, Topps 50-year card. Also a nice one. 2002 as well, never saw this one either. I was after I already stopped collecting, so 
Lots of more singles here to go through from Brian. Anthony Rizzo off the bat here. A Don Russ Diamond Kings. That's a nice one. A Warren Spawn Untouchables card. Another nice one, too. Never seen these before. Is it Tops Fire, maybe? Kind of looks like it to me. A Chris Sale. Tops Bunt. That's a nice one as well. Don't have too many Chris Sale cards. And here's a nice one. Willie Mays makes a fall classic catch. Hallowed highlights there. 1954 World Series in Game 1. Giants won the game in the title. Really awesome piece of history there. And another Untouchables card here. Pedro Martinez. Another nice one. Can't have too many Hall of Famer Pedro Martinez cards. The Expos there. Ozzy Albies. I'm uh, not sure if I've ever seen these kind of cards before. Um, it's a Topps card, but I'm not sure what brand it is. Can't say I've ever seen these. New Age Performers. Topps Heritage. There it is. Missed it for a second. Don't have too many Topps Heritage cards except for what I received today. So really awesome there. Uh, news flashbacks also from Top Heritage. Um, America Top 40 hits the airwaves. Pretty cool card there. Never seen that one either. Matt Kemp. Topps Heritage as well. Matt's Thousands RBI came on his birthday. September 23rd, or 2018. So that's pretty cool too. And a Josh DeHamel. First pitch at Dodger Stadium. Former soap opera star. I can't say I've ever really heard of him. Main character in the Transformer film series. I've yet to watch any of the newer Transformers movies. I was more of a diehard fan than ones from the 80s. So I haven't seen those yet. People keep telling me I need to see them. There's a lot of, a lot of newer movies I need to see, but I keep uh, watching cartoons and movies from the 80s and 90s. <laughs> so Scott Braun from the MLB Network there. That's pretty cool. Never seen this one before either. 2018 Topps cards. That's pretty awesome. And Cody Bellinger. 2018 Don Ross. Another Cody Bellinger. Mookie Betts. All-Star Game Topps card. That's a nice one too. And a Mike Trout. Um, this is Topps Holiday from 2018. That's a nice one. Brian says the entire 2018 Topps Holiday set, which is insane. Really like that a lot too. May Machado. Dallas Keuchel there. Another nice one. San Diego Chicken. This one is numbered 114 out of 199. Also a nice one. I think somebody else sent me that card before, but it's not numbered. So that's pretty awesome. Thank you for that, Brian. And a press proof May Machado card. Don't have any of these. That's really awesome. Uh, also numbered 16 out of 99. That is a nice one. Very, very nice. Thank you, Brian. Really awesome. Love that for my personal collection. And then um, Miguel Sano. Um, another Topps card from 2018, Legends in the Making. It's another nice one there. Nolan Arenado, Topps News from uh, Heritage there, 2018, I believe. Nice one. John Smoltz, postseason performance, 1995. It's a nice card there. Haven't seen that one before either. And there's a Kyle Schwerber. As, or as Eric calls him, Schwarby. Don Russ Optic there. David Ortiz, postseason performance. Another nice one. And here's a Dale Murphy, 1986 All-Star card. This is from 86 Tops, or 87 Tops. And the Wood Border cards. So a lot of you probably seen this card before. There's a lot of Dale Murphy fans out there. It's a nice one. I used to like him myself. Still need to get my hands on the Dale Murphy 89 Upper Deck re Reverse Negative card. Still sells for 30 or 40 bucks, but it's a nice air card. Pretty prominent air card of the Junk Wax era there. A nice Joe Morgan uh, Gold Cup reprint card here uh, from 2018 Tops. It's a nice one. I haven't seen that one before either. I like that one a lot. I believe Eric just got Joe Morgan's rookie card sent to him by somebody, which is pretty awesome. He's been eyeing that for quite a while. Another name Machado, Don Russ Optic. Nice one there. Edgar Martinez, a bazooka card. I've never seen these ones before. What year is this? 2003 bazooka? I didn't even know they made a... Uh, a set in 2003. I used to love Bazooka in 95. Whenever they um, were like 50 cents a pack. I used to love those. I used to buy them all the time. Virtually no value to them at all. But I thought they were awesome. And they were affordable at the time. So pretty cool Bazooka cards. I'm going to have to check into getting a box of those. Like I said, I thought that they died off in 95 or 96. And that was the last year they made them. But pretty awesome. Here is the 87 Don Mattingly Error card that Brian was talking about in the note. I misread it as 82. But... Uh, as you can see, the trademark logo is not there. There's usually a trademark logo next to the American League logo, and it is missing. 
making this an uncorrected error card. So pretty awesome. Brian told me he was going to send me that. So thank you very much for that. I add that to my error card collection and hopefully eventually do a video on error cards only. So looking forward to that in the future. Here's a Rod Carew card from Don Russ. Pretty cool. We just saw a lot of Rod Carew pieces during the 92 Don Russ um, break there. And first pitch from Mace. Uh, I'm guessing Mace is a rapper. He launched his music career as a teen in 93. Yeah, I, do, I think I do remember Mace. Wasn't he from the 90s? I thought it was spelled differently, though. Huh. Mandela effect. And another Rod Carew. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a short print. But uh, pretty awesome, though. Thank you for those, Brian. Really cool. A lot of awesome cards in there, man. Really awesome cards. And then another stack here from Brian. A Barry Larkin Don Russ Optic off of, of the bat there. Followed by a Darren Dalton uh, Don Russ. Uh, this is... I forget what these are called. Special edition from 94. I used to like these a lot too. It's so really cool. Rest in peace, Darren Dalton. That's a nice card. I like that one. Clayton Kershaw from Topps uh, Gallery there. Can't have too many Clayton Kershaw cards. Very nice one. Didn't have that one either. And a nice Conseco here from 87 Don Russ. Diamond Kings. Not his rookie card, but uh, second year. The rookie card is 86 Topps traded. Um, and here's a Roger Ho Rogers Hornsby. Not sure the Diamond Kings card. Um, not sure what year it is though, but it looks like it's newer. I'm, I'm going to say it's like around 2017. 2017 Diamond Kings Rogers Hornsby. It's a nice one as well. Another Kinsego 87 Tops um, Gold Cup card. Also a very nice one. This definitely had some value to it way back in the day. Still has a little bit to it, but it's under a buck, probably about 50 cents now. Still an awesome card regardless. Another Aaron Judge card. Like I said before, don't have many of his cards at all, so that's pretty awesome. Newer Tops, and a Gary Sanchez, also a newer Tops card from Herman, Herman Derby there, so that's pretty nice. This is from um, 2018 Tops Update, so that's pretty cool. Another Gary Sanchez All-Star Game card, also from the Update set. Matt Olson, uh, Tops Gallery card, didn't have this one either, pretty interesting. They haven't seen too many of those, other than what Eric uh, has seen in his videos, or opened in his videos. And uh, a Gerard Posel, Posey. Um, 2018 Panini Don Russ. The Posey card, that's pretty cool. And a Jim Tomey 2018 Hall of Fame highlights. That's pretty awesome. Wanted to meet Jim Tomey in Ohio a few months back. He was doing uh, autographs at a card show. And really wanted to go, but Eric and I ended up not going. But always heard he's a really nice guy. Anthony Rizzo, Diamond Kings card, another nice one. Madison Bumgarner, um, Panini Prism, also a nice one. These newer cards are so shiny, I can't get over it. Compared to how dull they were in the 90s and the height of my collecting, they're nothing close to looking like that. Really, it's a really nice Roller Chapman Panini Prism. Um, some sort of insert, I think, uh, card there. Really awesome, a Roller Chapman. Still need to get his rookie card, too. I don't have that one either. 87 Tops, Ripken. Nice one there. Ted Williams, Memorable Moments card. Another nice one, a newer Tops card, like that. There's the Big Hurt. Newer Don Russ card there. And Salvador Perez, uh, Don Russ Optic um, variation here. Not sure which one this is, purple or... Have a hard time keeping track of all those. It's a nice one, though, regardless. Alex Gordon, Panini Prism as well. I like these cards. It's pretty cool. Jake Arrieta, another nice one there. Mookie Betts, Don Russ 2018. And a Mookie Betts 2018 Tops Update. Pretty cool one, too. Followed by Roger Clemens Untouchables. Some more of these. These are cool cards. I think that's Topps Fire, but I'm not positive. It just kind of looks like it to me. I haven't seen a whole lot of those cards, so I'm not entirely sure. Correct me if I'm wrong on those. And the Clemens for the Yankees. And here we have another Conseco Gold Cup card. A nice one, too. I have somebody asking me for, for some Conseco cards, so I might send one of those off to him here. And a Ben Gibbard first pitch. I don't know who Ben Gibbard is either. Death Cab for Cutie Frontman. Okay. I was going to say, I don't think I ever heard of him either. But some really cool cards there too, Brian. So thanks again for hooking that stack up. And we have one more left, and we have all top loaders here. So curious to see what's going to be in these. I see some rookies. I see a Smoltz rookie that I don't have off the bat. Really awesome, 89 Bowman. Right off the bat, Ian Harp. Um, Tops update rookie card here. This is 2018. That's a nice one. Didn't have that one. Andrew Benatendi did not have any of his rookies either. Really nice. The 2018 Tops card. Liked that one a lot. And a Shoyotani 
uh, snowflake card, and this is like the the insert. I can't remember what these ones are called. These are Topps Holiday. Yeah, I guess they're called snowflake cards. Um, you can see the, the shine on there. Really awesome. I had the regular one, but not this one. So thank you for that, Brian. You might have sent me the regular one before. I think you sent me some uh, Topps Holiday last time. And uh, next stop, Stardom, Upton, Otani, and Trout. That's a cool one, too. Never seen that one before, either. Pretty interesting. Topps Update and Japan's Finest. Otani and Ichiro. Really cool card. Never seen that one before, either. I think that's also 2018. Uh, Topps Update, 2018 or 2019. Aaron Judge, another Aaron Judge. Never had any of his cards before at all until tonight. And now I have a few. An Aaron Judge rookie card. Wow. Two of them back to back. That is awesome, man. You did not have to send me two Aaron Judge rookies. Very, very cool. I did not, like I said, I didn't have any of his cards at all until tonight. Thank you so much, Brian. That is very, very cool of you. Awesome stuff. Wow. Was not expecting those. I gotta put those in the background because those are some pretty killer cards. I mean, they're all awesome, but uh, I've been wanting Aaron Judge rookie, so that's really cool. He sent me two of them. Wow, unbelievable. Mark McGuire, 87 Don Ross Raid rookie card. That's a classic card. I always like that one. And a Greg Maddox, 87 Don Ross Raid rookie card. Very nice as well. Always like that card as well. Always love 87 Don Ross. Very iconic uh, card there. Very nice. Thank you for that, Brian. And it's followed by a Ken Griffey Jr. 89 Don Russ. And this is in pretty good shape, too. Ken Griffey Jr. grew up very, very close to where I live. Charleroi, PA. So that's about a half-hour drive up the highway from where we live. So pretty awesome. The amazing Ken Griffey Jr., his rookie card. I think I only had one of that, so thank you very much. And also, Randy Johnson rated rookie 89 Don Russ. So very, very nice. I always liked 89 Don Russ, but a lot of people don't really like the colors very much. The border and whatnot. I always liked it just... Doesn't bother me ever. And here's a John Smoltz I was talking about, the 89 Bowman. Didn't have this one either, so thank you very, very much for that. That is a John Smoltz rookie card there. Very nice. And we still have more. Unbelievable. Still have more. Trey Mancini rookie card here. This is 2018 Tops, I believe. Did not have that one either. That's an awesome card. Let me adjust this. And a Mitch Hanniger rookie card there. Also... Um, 2018 uh, tops, I believe. Maybe, maybe 2017. I get these newer tops cards mixed up. I think this is 2018. Very nice Mitch Hanniger there. And a Jack Flaherty, also rookie card from tops. Another nice one. Another Ahmed Rosario. We got one last week, Panini Crusade. Here's his uh, Don Russ Optic Ray rookie. Very nice one, too. Did not have that one. You're crushing it, Brian, on these rookies. Didn't have any of these. Austin Meadows didn't have that one either. Austin Meadows is on the Buccos nowadays. Dylan Cousins, rookie card there. Very nice one. And Carlos Bayerga, Toys R Us card. Very cool novelty card here uh, from 1991. His rookie year was 1990. And uh, Eric and I used to call him Carlos Berga. <laughs> I think we called him it. I can't remember if it was me and him or a neighbor kid, but somebody called him Carlos, Bar call Carlos Berga in our childhood all the time. It was Carlos Berga. He's awesome, Carlos Berga. And there's a Barrett Aston. This is another nice one. Rookie card there from Tops, And um, some rookie combos here. Jordan Jankowski and Raymond Gideon. I guess is how, how you pronounce it. More butchering of newer players' names. Hopefully they didn't butcher it too bad. That's another nice one. I like the uh, rookie prospect cards like that. Uh, Miles Mikolas. Rookie card there. Fernando Ramiro, this is 2018 Tops. The other one was like 2009 Tops, I believe. But uh, Fernando Ramiro, I can't say that I have heard of him. I'm sure, that'll probably infuriate a lot of people. Freddie Peralta, rookie card, another nice one. And Kevin Mitchell, second Tops card there, 87 Tops. His uh, Tops rookie was 86 Tops traded. Always liked that card. The giant cloud of dust there, slide into home plate. And uh, Yoen Mancada. Rookie card, that's a nice one too. Didn't have that one. Bradley Zimmer, rookie card. Wow, this is rookies galore. This is insane. Dwight Smith, rookie card. And a Brian Giles, Topps Gold label. That's, a, that's an interesting one. I used to like Brian Giles a lot. And it's numbered too, 166 out of 999. Very, very cool. This is from 2001, I believe. Very cool card. Always like Brian Giles. That's a nice one too. I didn't even know they made Topps Gold Label in 2001. That's pretty interesting. 
Here's an older Jason Bay card from the Buckos, Top's Finest. And it's also numbered 91 out of 199, 2006 Top's Finest. Jason Bay, nice card there. And here's a John Russell. This is from 2008 or 2009 Top's, so actually 2008 Top's. Um, it's a Top's Gold card, I believe, and it's 404 out of 2008. So very cool card, managed by John Russell. I like that one a lot. Lots of numbered cards. These are awesome, Brian. And it looks like we have a, a Ralph Kiner. Uh, Don Russ, this is a studio card from 2003, inducted into the Hall in 1975. And it's also numbered 748 out of 750. Really cool. Like that one a lot. Ralph Kiner from 2003 Studio. Awesome card there. Really awesome. He really hooked it up with the numbered cards and everything else. Unbelievable. There's a Dave Parker um, playoff prestige card. I don't think I've ever seen these one before. I'm not sure where yours is from, but these are pretty cool. I'm guessing. And it's also number two. Very faint. I can see it there. 77 out of 150. You guys can see that. Really cool card there. I've never seen those. I didn't know they made those. Uh, 2005 maybe or 2006. To look more into that. It's a cool one. Classic Dave Parker there. And it looks like we have another rookie card here. A James Boone. Bowman Chrome. And it's an X-Refractor too. Or an X-Fractor. 239 out of 250. Very cool card there. It's from 2006. Bowman. Really awesome. I've never even seen one of those. So it's an X-Fractor, uh, where I come from, from the 90s. The, they were all refractors, so that's what the term that I'm most uh, familiar with. X-Fractor, that's one I'll have to, I'll have to learn now. It's a really cool card. Uh, Jimmy Anderson, um, and this is an actual auto on-card auto uh, here. Certificate of Authenticity um, from 2000 Fleer, Jimmy Anderson. Really cool card there for the Buckos. Like that one a lot. Thank you, Brian. We have one more left. And it's a Niger Morgan, um, first tops card, rookie card from 2008. Really awesome. So thank you so much, Brian. Bipolar Brian crushed it with the rookies, the autos, the numbered cards. Holy crap, man. Uh, amazing. The Aaron Judge rookie cards. All around awesome package. 2018 tops complete holiday set. Um, very, very awesome stuff. Thank you so much, Brian. I will definitely um, get you something out here very, very soon. Appreciate all your generosity, and I hope everything uh, gets better for you. This Family Friday is absolutely incredible. Thank you so much to everybody that sent in things uh, for me to rip open. This is absolutely amazing. You guys are awesome. The very last box is the biggest one we have, and it's from Weaver, who I think is Chris Weaver. Chris Weaver is an awesome dude. He is my number one Patreon patron, $25 a month. The top tier I have right now is three bucks, but uh, he um, is donating 25 bucks a month, so that's really cool. Eventually, I'm gonna have more tiers here pretty soon. I think like a $10 one, maybe $25 one, and um, send stuff out for those ones. But right now, it's three bucks, and uh, Chris Weaver is the man. He's $25 a month, and it is from Chris Weaver. It says, hey, John, I hope you're doing very well. Here are some items I thought you might like to have or to pass on to another collector. I'm happy I'm able to be a part of your Patreon group. And I thank you very, very much for that, man. I hope many, many, I hope many more people will join it to help you give, keep the past alive. Thank, thanks for all you do for the toy and card collecting hobby. Keep the great work you do with your videos. Take care, Chris Weaver. And thank you so much for all your support, Chris. And your support that you give to everybody else, too. Chris is the most positive guy in all the breaks. You know, wishing everybody good luck and everything else. All around outstanding dude. Looks like we have an older magazine in here. An old price got on top here. Featuring Roger Clemens. And this is from August of 1988. Baseball card price guide monthly. Very awesome. I really like how this is more of a magazine layout style. Like uh, the older Beckett's were. We had a lot of competitor price guides that were like books. And had small print and everything else in them. But I'm curious to see, this is 1988, so I'm curious to see what the Barry Bonds 87 Tops rookie card is going for back then. Well, they have them switched around too. The, the high price, the main condition price is on the left instead of the right in comparison with Beckett. And um, the Barry Bonds is, booked, it books at 65 cents in 1988. 
So pretty interesting there. Really awesome. Clemens, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to get a big bowl of cereal and check that out. We have another one here with Consega on the front. And uh, this is from February 1989. This is really awesome. Greg Jeffries, back when Greg Jeffries was blowing up and Conseco was killing it. Really cool, and it has the original cards in it too. This is pretty awesome. Julio Franco, Lou Whitaker, and the Greg Jeffries cards featured on the front. Really awesome stuff, man. I never come across these at like flea markets and antique malls. I would definitely buy them. Um, I like these older uh, price guides like this. Really cool, I'm gonna have to spend some time checking those out. Get some cereal and sit around, look at these. There's another one featuring strawberry. This is May of 89. Strawberry in the front cover there. That's really awesome. More cards. I think all of these have cards. I'm Conseco, Gwen, and Dave Winfield. Never cut out or ripped out of there. Really awesome. And here's one from July of 89 featuring McGuire, Johnny Bench, and Yaz on the front cover. Really awesome stuff. Thank you so much, Chris. These are great. There's some cards in there. Lewis Medina, Cal Daniels, and Kevin McReynolds. Really, really cool stuff. I'm going to have to go through read all these articles. That's going to be a lot of my weekend there is reading over those, checking prices out, comparing with Beckett. Really excited about that. We have some cards here from Chris Weaver. Um, this one is actually very well protected. Very, very nice. Wow. It's a Tim Wakefield Auto. Very nice from Topps Archive Signature Series. And it's 14 out of 16. Holy crap, Chris. This is amazing. If you guys know, uh, watch my videos and everything else, you guys know that uh, I was a huge Tim Wakefield fan when I was younger. I still really like him. I still like to collect his cards. I have a lot of them, though, so there's really none that I need, but I don't have any of his autos. So this is freaking awesome, Chris. Wow. This is actually the only uh, Topps Archives auto that I have. So... I love this card, man. This is great. Thank you so much for that. I got to put that on display somewhere in my office. Older 90s uh, Stadium Club card there. Really cool stuff. I always thought about buying a box or a case of those Topps Ar Archives uh, Signature Series. I really like those cards. We're just watching Eric do breaks. I'm like, they're so cool. And we have some other ones in here in penny sleeves. Be careful with getting these out the tape. And one stuck in here to Jeter. A nice Derek Jeter, a 94 upper deck. Very nice. A second year card. Never even seen this one before. Uh, 94 upper deck foil card there. Really cool. Billy Wagner rookie was also along with that. And Derek Lee, same year and same set. Kind of looks similar as well. Really cool card. Thank you for that, Chris. That is awesome. like that one a lot. Another Derek Jeter here. Diamond Stars. Must be a newer one. I don't know if I've ever seen this one before. 2007 or 2006, I believe. Also another very nice one, Derek Jeter. And this is 95 over deck, I believe. Derek Jeter star rookie card. Another nice one as well. Always was a big DJ, Derek Jeter fan when I was younger, so I'm not sure if I even have that card. I definitely used to have it when I was younger, but I'm not sure what would happen to it. Very awesome. Arizona State uh, Sun Devils. This is actually his college card, not minor league. Um, never seen this one before either, but uh, it was made in 1990, so Arizona State... Um, Sun Devils. Really awesome, dude. Thank you very much for that one. And here's one that I've never even seen before. An 88 Don Russ. Um, Roberto Alomar. So his rookie year. Never seen that one. It kind of reminds me of the, the 1990 Don Russ parallels. The blue and the red. The regular base that was red. And then the, the blue series. Whatever it was called. I can't remember. But very awesome card there. Uh, Roberto Alomar rookie card. So that's a nice one too. Thank you very much for that one. There's no more Garcia Parra. I think this is 96 upper deck, I believe. Around there. Another nice one. Never had that one before either. So thank you very much for that, Chris. And here's a nice one I didn't have for my rookie collection. Ozzie Gein, 86 Don Ross. Very nice, Chris. Thanks so much. I don't know if I've ever even seen this car, but I knew I needed it. Along with Lenny Dykstra from the set. Um, so that was definitely on my uh, personal collection of rookies that I, that I need to get. So thank you very much. And there's a Paul O'Neill, 86 Fleer rookie card. I'm not sure if Eric pulled that out of the box last night or not. I can't remember if he pulled that out of the 86 Fleer or not, but uh, I don't think I had this one either, so that's another very nice one to add to my collection. Really like that one, too. Very, very generous of you, Chris. You're a man. And and after, we have a Dave Justice 90 score rookie card, too. Didn't have this one either. Also another very nice one. Always like Dave Justice. Always a solid ball player, and I, I like this card a lot. Thank you for that as well, man. 
And here's an older A-Rod card. Remember this one, Alex Rodriguez, uh, 94. This is 94 or 95 per deck? Yeah, 94 per deck. Very, very cool card. Very awesome stuff all around, man. Thank you so much, Chris. You are amazing. Thank you for all your generosity. I love these price guides. I love the cards, especially the Tim Wakefield Auto. That is incredible. You're the man. I will be sending something out to you sometime soon. Uh, hopefully you like it. I sent your 93 Don Russ box out with a little something extra as well. Hopefully you like that. Thank you guys so much for all your generous contributions to Family Friday. You guys are amazing. This was an epic, epic episode of this. So much great stuff from everyone. You guys rule. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me on Patreon and on here as well. Hope you guys all have a killer weekend. And hopefully I find some stuff uh, over the next two days. And uh, I have a video for you on Sunday night. So until I see you then, have a great weekend, guys.